anything like my family, you love your coffee. Our coffee machine, the Ninja Coffee Bar, is having an issue where it's the five beeps of death. It beeps five times and then it turns off. So we've implemented our backup coffee machine because we need our coffee and we love our coffee. So this is our Ninja Coffee Bar and I'm gonna go through a couple of things you can do to fix your five beep issue. First is this right here. You wanna make sure you pump that through and it's gonna release the water that's in the area here. Another thing to do is on the reservoir, the bottom part, make sure when you press this little area here, that water comes down. So that's fine, so that's not our issue. So you're gonna wanna take the machine and flip it upside down to your sink because there is going to be water in the system. Now, I already removed most of the screws because I didn't wanna bore everyone with watching me remove a bunch of screws. So I left two in there to hold this together. And the back cover pops open very easily. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is there's these butterfly clips here. You're gonna pull that down and you're gonna undo this hose. And I took um, one of these straw cleaners and you run it in there to kind of clean it out. All right. And then you take screwdriver and you're gonna remove these two screws right there. And they basically hold the system together. Um, there's a little boiler in there that heats up the water. And what I found out with mine is that it had a lot of calcium deposits um, from, I guess, hard water, which I thought my water was pretty purified since I have a whole water filtration system, but I guess it wasn't good enough. And running it with um, vinegar was not enough to clean it out. So actually removing it, you gotta wiggle it out. It's a little stuck at first, but there you go. So as you can see, that is filled with white calcium deposits. So you're gonna remove this little gasket and with your screwdriver, you wanna clean it up. And what I'm actually gonna do is get some vinegar and let it sit there so that it can eat up, pause it. See if I get this right in there. And the vinegar is so acidic, it's actually eating up most of the hard deposits. So then I'm gonna Go ahead and take my little straw cleaner and get it in there a little better. Clean it up with a paper towel. So once you're satisfied um, with getting most of it out, you're gonna wanna put it back together and do a few clean cycles, um, about 10 or so. Um, and after that, it will be working like new and back in action. Thanks for watching.